everyone, my name is Tessa Bentula and I am the investigative reporter for News Channel 13 and this is Kathy Gazda, my investigative producer, aka my right hand woman on all the stories we work on for 13 Investigates. Um, and today we're just going to give you a behind the scenes kind of look, uh, talk through of our investigative series on overdoses in Gloversville. So what this story really is about is overdoses, especially with the opioid epidemic. We see it all over the country, especially here in the capital region. And so we decided to go to Gloversville and it's just wreaking havoc over there, this uh, opioid epidemic. We went on a ride along with one of the officers with the police department. We got one call with them, but to encompass this whole thing, the reason we're doing this is just to show people how bad it really is in such small communities, especially in ones where the police department is understaffed like so many others. I think one of the interesting things about Gloversville, per se, is because the problem is so bad, they were very transparent with us because they're at their wit's end, to be honest about it. I think they're looking for more answers, that whether it comes from the community, from support systems, from other communities. They are so desperate to get an answer to this problem and to get a hold of it that they were willing to just take us behind the curtain and let us see exactly what they face every day. That's what the story is. It's not pretty, it's the real truth, and they didn't, they didn't hide anything. It's an uphill battle for them, it really is. They're very forthright in saying that they see repeat what they call frequent flyers, you know, folks who, who get saved with the Narcan doses and, and turn right around and, and OD again. And it they, puts a lot of stress on them too. Absolutely, and, were, it, and it takes away from the other work that they should yeah. be doing as law enforcement. Every place has this, no one is immune. There's no socioeconomic group that isn't uh, attacked by this problem. But Gloversville is sort of a perfect storm because there's a lot of poverty in Gloversville. Those of us who are old enough to remember Gloversville in the heyday know that it was, it was a boom town. It was the glove making capital of the world. A lot of money in Gloversville. Well, when, the, when that industry died out because of all the, the international business, the city sank very quickly. The body cam footage that we got, the fact that they were willing to send it over to us shows that this is a problem and that you need to see and everyone else needs to see why this is such an issue. I think a big part of them releasing it is because they want the public to really understand what they are up against day in and day out and sometimes multiple times a day. Yeah. It's not, you know, it's not isolated here or there. I don't really know if there's a full-on solution for them other than being transparent and telling people this is what's happening. Education is about the most powerful tool. The Narcan will save a life, but at the end of the day you have to get to the, to the root problem. Why are, why are folks doing this? This story is really going to open a lot of people's eyes to what overdoses really look like. Current events are not pretty and this is, this is our job, is to tell you how it really is. That's part of our mission, to show the people who are in charge what the issues are and to hold them accountable. And to some degree, you'd like to hope that if the public sees it, you'd like to hope that that would put the pressure on those folks who are in charge to, to be more proactive uh, on this issue. This is a two-part investigative series that will air starting Wednesday, September 7th and Thursday, September 8th. Both nights will we'll illuminate the problem, will educate the viewer, and, and hopefully be at least part of the solution.